Hey guys, it's Kai Juma. Welcome back to Let's Play Sound Mad Season 1, Episode 2. Uh, situation Comedy. Uh, we just became stars for auditioning for the Midtown Cowboys from this picture of a director here with an apple crate. Uh, I think just walk through those doors to continue. So let's go. Alright, people, let's get the stage set up. The celebrity host will be here any minute. Oh, Very right. The crew's working on Moira. Stupid, no talent, fat face. Hey, hey, watch the language. What's up, bitch? Weren't you just... I think she just defied the laws of physics. Sorry, you'd be amazed how many times a day I have to do that. Things tend to be hectic here. Doesn't bother us a bit. Sam and Max, consummate professional actors, reporting for duty. <laughs> you said duty, Sam. I knew you guys were right for the show. Speaking of which, could you perhaps explain the show a bit? Okay, here's the drill. On Midtown Cowboys, you play a pair of cattle ranchers trying to raise a herd in an apartment in Manhattan. My Uncle Ernie did that, except it was pigs. And not in an apartment. I only see one cow. It's a small herd. You're struggling, okay? Okay. You've got this landlord, Mr. Featherly, who has a very strict no-cows policy. Devilishly inconvenient. I begin to see from whence the hilarity sprouts. Yes, Featherly is always barging in, and you try to hide the fact that you have a cow in the apartment. Lots of sight gags, usually something gross winds up happening. Simple enough? Great. Where's the script? Well, there's a slight hitch. The cow ate most of the script, so you're going to have to ad-lib the show. Ad-lib? Yes, make it up as you go. Improvise. Well, I guess our regular life has given us plenty of practice. Don't worry, you'll be working with Philo Pennyworth, who plays Featherly. He's a brilliant actor, classically trained, globe theater and all that. Just set him up to do something funny and he'll handle it from there. Check. Anything else? Actually, yes. We did save one line from the script, and it's really important to work it in, because it's the product placement that pays for the whole show. One of you will have to save the line. Me, me, pick me! All right, Max, your line is this. Better get the serious toothpaste. I like it already. That was fucking lame. Um, let's go, uh, we got, let's go, let's start taping. We're as ready as we're ever gonna be. Let's start taping the show. Okay, now remember. Your landlord's at the door, and you don't want him to know you've got a cow in there. Ready? Action! Bro, I don't know. So anyways, before you do anything, grab this lampshade. be light. And this plate. Goodness, who left this lying here? Open up! So you come to this Open up in the, the cow. I know you're a cow. cow, but the cow and put the lampshade on his on her head. Hey! There we go. Life of the party. Open up. Aha! I know you got a. Well, well, well. Who's your guest, boys? Uh, our chef. This is the French chef we hired to satisfy our inexplicable, insatiable craving for omelets and duck a la large. And frog's legs. I like mine extra crispy. Oh, a French chef, eh? I love French bread and, and French fries. I went to Gay Paris one time myself, you know? Yucky. It was back in my army days. Soutala. <laughs> Let me see, so before he does anything, let's put this on this power dookie here. I put under it anyways. You don't want to touch that. Say, what's this? Uh, you get you uh, I'm sorry, right what was that you said? Uh, Mugu Gai Pan, delicious food. Moo, moo, French tongue. There we go. He said Mugu Gai Pan. It's a French dish the chef has just made. Whoa! Super! I'll try some of that! Where's the plate? I can't help but feel this is all terribly wrong somehow. Aha! Mmm! 
Interesting. Fake, this is a game. That's one word for it. Hmm. There's a familiar flavor. Fennel, maybe? Kentucky bluegrass, I think. This moo moo whatever stuff is really good. What's it called in English? Cow pie. Really? Well, that's funny. It sounds just like. <laughs> Now? Now. <clears throat> Better get the serious toothpaste. Zoom in. And cut. Phew. That was comic gold. The network is going to love it. Naturally. I'll be in my dressing room refreshing my muse. Don't call me for at least an hour. There's some chicken fingers on your ass. Nice work, you guys. Here's a clip for your reel. Thanks. <sighs> Let's get the set back the way it was. Damn, bitch. Why so depressed? Couldn't do all the work and shit. Fuck out the wall. This could use some sprucing up. Whatever happened to our can of spray paint? I refuse to answer on the grounds that I may incriminate both myself and a prominent local politician. Say no more. Mm, cooking show, game show, door, cooking show, game show, cooking show, game show. Let's go to game show. Who's never gonna be a millionaire? That's me, people. Look, Max, there's the door to Myra's set. Let's get in there and liberate her literally captive audience. Sam, forget the hostages. There's somebody famous. It's Hugh Bliss. Who, Bliss? No, Hugh Bliss. Inventor of prismatology? Help millions unlock the power of their personal color spectrums? Right. The stage magician turned happiness guru. Like we didn't have enough of those already. I want to meet him. Fine. But if he magically pulls another rainbow butterfly out of somebody's ear, I'm leaving. Hi, Hugh Bliss. Hi, Hi I'm Hugh Bliss. Bliss. Yeah, we know. And you are Sam and Max, freelance police. <gasps> How do you know? Do you believe in magic? Cause I do. He's personally one of my favorite characters, cause he's freaking creepy as hell, but so cool. Hmm. What are you doing here? So, Hugh Bliss, what brings you to WARP? I too am here to meet Myra. <gasps> How do you know we came for Myra? Oh, 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 don't you see? I can read your mind. As the resident Doubting Thomas of this crime-fighting duo, I consider it my civic duty to say, prove it. Okay, think of something, anything. Six million three hundred and seventy-three thousand four hundred eleven point nine eight. Sam? Lucky guess. <laughs> Was it? Think of something else. Nah. Hugh Bliss is a big fat charlatan. Was he right? Big deal. Everyone thinks that. Oh? Think of something else. <laughs> Pennies on the eyes of a dead mime. Well? I must have been silently mouthing the words. Really? Think of something else. <laughs> Enough. Enough of this ridiculous farce. Stop it. <laughs> do me, do me. Oh, oh my. And that's unspeakably depraved. <laughs> yeah, you got it. Wow, you're amazing. Hmm, why do you want to see Myra? What's your business with Myra? I'm to be a guest on her show, silly. Yeah, silly. I'm spreading the word about my new book, Emetics, the handbook for multicolored happiness. Take a copy when you leave. Can you just give us the ten word summary instead? We're on a pretty tight schedule. Ten words? Oh my! How about prismatology is the answer? Unicorns are pretty, and rainbows too. That's ten. Hmm, what is prismatology? What's the story on this prismatology flapdoodle? Prismatology is only the greatest intellectual, emotional, and spiritual revolution ever to grace this fair planet. Thank goodness we have someone who can give an impartial assessment. Shh. Tell us more. 
join Prismatology today, and you too can experience the magic of true bliss. That goes against everything I've ever hoped for, and yet now I'm strangely attracted to the notion. Snap out of it, little buddy. We've got a case to solve. Uh, show the magic trick. Dazzle us with a feat of ledger domain, why don't you?